Two big rideshare companies are threatening to leave Minneapolis after what happened at today's city council meeting. The Minneapolis City Council passed an ordinance that would increase the minimum, minimum pay for rideshare drivers. The vote was nine to four. Our Eric Shalou was there and joins us now to explain why that number is so important. Eric. Yeah, nine Minneapolis City Council members voted to support this rideshare driver pay increase. And that number, as you mentioned, is very important because nine votes would be enough to overturn Mayor Jacob Fry's expected veto. Now, this ordinance would set a pay set pay for rideshare drivers for any trips to, from, and through Minneapolis. Rideshare drivers celebrated the Minneapolis City Council passing a minimum pay ordinance. The ordinance authors on the council say it closes loopholes and ensures drivers receive pay equivalent to the city's hourly minimum wage of $15.57. Chamber of Commerce officials raise concerns if rideshare companies leave and the impact it could have on downtown. A few council members felt those who rely on rideshare to get to medical appointments could also be impacted. There are some rideshare drivers at the meeting who spoke out after today's vote. That's all we're asking for is $15 per hour. What does this moment mean? To this is great. This is historic. Thanks so much to the Very city council exciting. members understanding being the role model legislators that we expected from them. Thank you, city council members. I do care about having a Mayor Jacob Fry had suggested a different pay raise for drivers that wasn't at the higher level pass today. Fry called the council, quote, irresponsible to take action today when tomorrow state labor officials will release a report on the rideshare industry. Now, if the council overrides the veto, then that ordinance would begin on May 1st. We heard from Uber who said they would stop their transportation network in the city of Minneapolis and surrounding communities if that happens. And Liff also mentioning they would cease operations in the city. We heard at the council meeting today some other companies that express interest in operating rideshare. We'll see what happens. Live outside of City Hall here in downtown Minneapolis, Eric Shalou, 5 Eyewitness News.